This presentation, Becoming Certified Tumor Registrar, is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrars Association Education Foundation. In this presentation, we will explain the eligibility requirements to sit for the Certified Tumor Registrar, or CTR, exam, discuss some of the career opportunities in the cancer registry field. Anyone who is interested in becoming a cancer registrar must meet a few requirements. Potential cancer registrars must pass a certification exam called the CTR or Certified Tumor Registrar exam. And to be eligible to take the CTR exam, candidates must meet educational and experience requirements. The National Cancer Registrars Association Council on Certification has defined three routes for achieving this goal. Route A, Path 1, the candidate must successfully complete an associate's degree in Cancer Registry Management, CRM, or Cancer Information Management, CIM, from an NCRA accredited program and complete a 160-hour clinical practicum in a CTR-staffed cancer registry. Route A, Path 2. The candidate must have an associate's degree in any field or the equivalent, which is 60 college level credits. The candidate must also earn a certificate in cancer registry management or cancer information management and complete a 160 hour clinical practicum in a certified tumor registrar staffed cancer registry. For Route B, the candidate must have a minimum of an associate's degree in any field or the equivalent. The candidate must also have two semesters of human anatomy and human physiology and 1,950 hours experience in the cancer registry field. The 1,950 hours are equivalent to one year of full-time employment. Click on the link to view the most up-to-date list of NCRA accredited formal education programs. The CTR exam is offered during a three-week period in the spring, summer, and fall. The candidate makes an appointment at the testing center to take the exam during the three-week period. There are two parts to the exam, a closed book portion which has 120 questions and an open book portion which has 60 questions. The candidate is given two hours to complete each portion of the exam, so the exam takes up to four hours. For the open book portion of the exam, the candidate uses several cancer registry coding manuals to answer questions. All questions are in a multiple choice format. You may be wondering what opportunities are out there for a cancer registrar. Cancer registrars can find employment in hospitals, large clinics, and state central registries, at standard setting organizations such as the Surveillance, Epidemiology, and End Results, the National Program of Cancer Registries, and the Commission on Cancer. There are also job opportunities with consulting or contract companies and cancer registry software vendors. A certified tumor registrar is a dedicated and enthusiastic individual who is self-motivated and detail-oriented. They have medical and scientific knowledge and enjoy working behind the scenes without face-to-face -face contact with patients. The greatest satisfaction for cancer registrars is knowing that their work contributes to the knowledge of cancer, the improvement in patient care, and valuable research on new medical treatments. If you want to make a difference in the fight against cancer, this may be the career path for you. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrars Association Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, go to www.ncraeducationfoundation.org. For more information on the cancer registry profession, go to the NCRA website at www.ncra-usa.org.